Hey guys, it's Joette with ballooncoach.com. And today I have a special guest, RJ from Pioneer, which is the owner of Qualitex Balloons. And he has the pleasure of being in charge of the CBA exam, helping with the scheduling of the certified balloon artist exam and helping make sure that people who are taking their exam have all of their ducks in a row so that they can take their hands on exam when they go to live events. For those of you who don't know, every year in Orlando, ballooncoach.com puts together a balloon boss summit. It used to be called Promotions and Profits, and now we changed it to Balloon Boss Summit to really express how it's an event for people to work on their business skills. And Qualitex is one of our very generous sponsors for the event, providing an instructor and providing the CBA exam for people coming to Balloon Boss Summit who have purchased their CBA kit, they've done their online exams, they've turned in everything that they need to do the test, and now it's time for them to take that exam. So for 2021, that exam will will be on November 7th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And um, we've been doing this for a couple of years now. And then I actually took my CBA back in 2008. So I asked RJ to be on today to be able to answer your questions. For those of you who are watching us live, you can type your questions into the chat box for RJ and I to answer to make sure that you have all the steps ready and to help calm your nerves so that you can have success when you join us in Orlando in November. And then if you're watching this and you're not able to come to Balloon Boss Summit, but there is another event that you're going to take the test at, I do offer some other group um, online for you guys to have some support to prepare. And then also you can always take it at our future events. So guys, I want to get in and answer your questions. So RJ, thanks for being here today. Happy to be here. Yay. So the CBA exam, like I said, the next one in the United States um, is going to be on November 7th from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. in Orlando. You do need to have a ticket to come to our event to take the test because that's the one thing about the CBA exam where it's held at is different events where the conference rooms and the ballrooms and the things where the testing is being taken at is being paid for by the ticket sales for that event. So um, that's one thing I just wanted to clarify because RJ, I think you get that question a lot too from people is, you know, do I have to pay to go to the event that that um, CBA exams at? Correct. Yeah, it is a very common question that I get. And yeah, most of the ones that we do, yeah, you have to be a paid attendant for um, for that event to take the CBA. Yes. Great. So guys, for those of you who are joining us live, Type in your questions that you have for taking your CBA to prepare for it so that we make sure to answer them. But I'm going to go ahead and go over a couple of overviews that I know people have asked. So number one is, do I get a certificate? <laughs> and yes, um, Pioneer does provide you with a really cool certificate. And you're actually at Balloon Boss Summit giving it to on the opening night ceremony. So the opening night, we have a fun celebration and event. And um, Eve... Um, will be um, the one taking care of the CBA in 2021. And so she will present you with your certificate um, up on stage. And we have a professional photographer to grab your photo while you get that certificate. And then um, sometimes people ask me, do I actually have to be a CBA to be a successful business owner? The answer is no. But just like everything in life, the more certifications that we get, the more training we take, and the more we apply the things that we learn, the more that we're going to be better at what we do. So the CBA program is a foundation to start your learning. It's the understanding of color, balance, harmony, and design. And in the balloon industry, I've seen in the last five years, many people have gotten into the industry in the age of organics, where everything is random sizes, random colors, put all together. And sometimes organics look amazing, and sometimes not so good. And what I have found is for understanding these basic principles and the arch that you're seeing right now was made by Sarah Meyer of Wisconsin Balloon Decor. She is a CBA and she's also one of our instructors at Summit. And um, she recently did this design where it's just a three color spiral arch. RJ, would this design pass for sending in your um, images for, um, the test? Yes, absolutely. Great color combination, very clean work. Uh, yes, this would absolutely be acceptable for sure. 
Great. And so a couple of things that people often ask me, RJ, is when they send in their balloon designs to you, um, do they have to be Qualitex balloons in the designs? Yes. For the purposes of CBA, we would like to see a 100% Qualitex, and this includes uh, the foils. Um, I mean, this is a Qualitex company, and it is the uh, Qualitex CBA exam. So absolutely, we definitely need to see 100% Qualitex balloons. And if you have any questions on like design, you can email me and be, and just say, hey, is the, does this work? Is this um, you know acceptable? And I'll, I'll just work with you on it to get uh, your acceptable photos. Great. And so um, I wanted to show you guys a couple of other fo photos. This is just classic decor. It's four balloon clusters, right? So it's a quad on top of a quad sized appropriately and stacked on top of each other to have a nice clean look. I always think about this as like what I would do for a corporate event or school and then having that um, correct proportion on top. So there's one on the right that is your classic. Every balloon is the same size. And then on the left, that is a sculpted. And so the difference is with the sculpted one in this image, that one is taller than the other, but they still are using a three foot balloon. And with the way the balloons are inflated, they're proportionate and they look good. So would both of these images pass for you um, when they submitted them to the exam, RJ? Uh, yes, actually, fun fact, the big uh, three footer with the white and red is actually one that I submitted uh, when I did my CBA back in 2016. Um, looking at it now, I mean, there's a few things that I can nitpick, but it would pass for this. Um, one thing to keep in mind is that these photos and uh, the job cost forms that follow are uh, part of your final CBA score. So, you know, you definitely want to keep that in mind. And now that I think about it, I remember getting a few points off with uh, some of the sizing. Like I, I now taking a deeper look into this, like the tops <laughs> off, like I've kind of got the idea. It's like, oh, uh, this could be improved and, you know, this could be better. But yeah, both of these uh, would be fine. Great. Well, what I'd love for you to do, RJ, is we've had a couple of questions come up in the chat. And so I'm going to read those to you. Okay. One is um, on the QBN, it, um, it says that I have to submit a form that um, is that the same as the email um, that tells RJ that we're taking the exam? Um, if you let me know you're taking the exam and you submit all your photos and job cost forms, I mean, that's that's good enough for me. Um, I, I know at one point there was like a formal form, but honestly, if you just send me your photos and forms and, um, make sure you have all your online tests completed, that's pretty much, um, as much commitment as I need, you know, I'll make sure to get you on the list and we'll get you set up for, um, for the exam. So one of the things that I want you guys to know is if you have other questions about the CBA exam, when you go to Qualitex.com and then you click on education and go down to the Qualitex Balloon Network, that is where you can find out more information about the certification process. And then RJ, could you type your email address into the chat box for the people who are on today that may not have that to touch base with you? Absolutely. I will do that right now. And this is probably the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, I mean, I have a direct line to which I will uh, go ahead and provide if you prefer to speak with me on the phone. Let's make sure all that's right. Yes. So again, here's my email and here's my uh, direct line. If you have questions for me, like maybe after this is over or something comes up, if there's something that you want to talk to me about, uh, like I said, these are the two probably best methods uh, to get a hold of me. Awesome. Thank you. And so one of the things that I want to make sure you guys understand is on the Qualitex website, you can go down here and it talks about how to become a CBA that you do have to um, purchase your kit. And then um, you are able to sign up to take that practical exam. And you have to do that 30 days in advance. So I'm letting you guys know if you're planning on coming to Balloon Boss Summit and taking your CBA, for 2021, you need to have all of your materials into RJ by October 8th. So RJ, let me make sure I'm correct on this. It's three online um, tests that they take, correct? 
Correct. You, we have a basics test, uh, and after you pass the basics test is when you get your official, uh, official QBN membership. And then after that, the other two tests, decor and delivery and bouquet will be available to you. Uh, then after you uh, complete those um, exams, you'll be ready for the next step, which would be the photos and forms as discussed uh, uh, previously. Excellent. And I took mine back in 2008. So it's been a little bit, so I'm a teeny bit rusty on things. So I always like to make sure that you understand that when you guys have a question specific about, is this okay? Is this the right thing to turn in? RJ is the person for that because I don't personally administer the exam. I'm just providing a place for it to happen for those people attending my event. So when you have those specific questions of, I'm not sure if this is the right kind of photo or not, RJ is the one that can answer that for you. And then um, with the job cost form, RJ, does that come in like an email confirmation from you of what they're supposed to fill out? Or does that come inside their bundle kit? Um, you can access that via the uh, testing center or if you're having trouble getting it, I am more than happy to email you a copy. Um, it, it's a template that we use for that. So um, like I said, if, you, if you're not able to get it there, I am more than happy to send you a copy as well. Excellent. And then again, if you're watching this after the fact and you're looking for a time for you to go to a place to take your CVA, you can click on events to see the training that Qualitex is um, holding. And then if you're planning on taking this with the CVA exam at Balloon Boss Summit, you can just click on here on their website to take you to our website to be able to register for Summit. And then you can follow up with RJ and say, hey, RJ, I want to go ahead and reserve my spot to take my CBA exam. So I wanted to make sure you guys kind of saw how that all works <laughs> and have the information of where to go and what to do. Um, the other thing that I wanted to show you guys is um, on a blog from the Very Best Balloon blog. Um, and while I'm pulling that up, I will have um, RJ answer a couple of questions. Will new be, well, sorry, will new balloons be included in the test, for example, bubble balloons? Um, I mean, the bubble balloons are a pioneer product. So, um, I mean, if you're looking, if you're referring to the actual tests, I mean, we had, it's, um, I don't know how, I don't know how best to describe, okay, so, uh, like. Yes, yeah, so I wanted to show this. Like, I know during the actual exam, these are pictures taken from last year that you are given um, the balloons from Qualitex to make your five foot column that's a five pack. So it's five different colors put instead of a quad into a five pack stacked on top of each other to make that column. Qualitex provides those balloons for you at the event. Then during the event, you have to bring your own balloons to make two designs. One is considered a centerpiece and the other a delivery. Is that correct, RJ? Correct. And we also do provide balloons for a duplicated bouquet, which there is some bubbles uh, implemented into that as well. Uh, hopefully that clears up. the design. Correct. Yeah. And it so looks like, yeah, the pink one looks like a custom one, which uh, looks yeah. excellent. And then the centerpiece with uh, the rainbow. But yeah, the middle one is the, Duplicated bouquet. Yes, correct. That you'll have to replicate during uh, that four hours uh, during the exam, along with the other tasks as well. So for those of you who are not as familiar as working with helium balloons, you definitely want to get with your local helium distributor and have a helium tank that you work with and that you practice being able to inflate the balloons properly, size them correctly, put them on their ribbon, and then um, go and put them in formation. And I know a lot of people in the last five years have been doing more air filled decor than helium work, just due to the skyrocketing prices of helium. And then the fact that when you're working with air, it's a little bit easier to do things in advance. So if you have not been working with helium on a regular basis recently, I encourage you to make sure you get that tank. And then as you're making sample designs, use those as a way to market your business or to sell them to your clients, right? So um, having these nice stacks is really important. And then again, they're gonna have a photo of something that they want you to duplicate, or I can't remember, do they actually make the design or do they just have a picture for you to go off of? Um, there's like a list of like ingredients, but there's also a picture as well. Um, we, we will have clear instructions for what we want you to duplicate for sure. 
cool. Um, a question that came up in the chat, is there an expiration or time frame between um, passing the online test and taking the Z exam? I passed online tests five years ago and I've never taken the CBA. Um, do I need to retake the online test? Uh, five years ago, no, you're you're covered. Uh, what I would recommend you do is uh, going back through the videos and kind of reviewing the content uh, just to make sure uh, you're best prepared for the exam. But no, if, um, if I have in my system that you have all your three tests done, you're covered. Uh, but again, it just would be a good idea to go back and review the information. And so to make sure that you have that they've done the online test, they just need to send you an email, correct, RJ? Yes, send me an email, uh, give me a call and say, hey, can you verify I have all my tests done? And I'll just need a few seconds to uh, look you up in the system and I can tell you where you stand. All right. A question that comes up a lot online, and I think sometimes there's a little bit of misunderstanding about it, is that the oath that people sign after using um, the CBA, is it that they're saying that they will only use Qualitex balloons, or is it that understood that it's like we will use Qualitex as our main balloon, but that it is like we're not going to re get removed from our Qualitex if we end up um, using another balloon. And the reason we ask this, especially right now, is there's such a shortage in the industry of balloons that sometimes we can't find the Qualitex balloon we need. And so we have to go to another manufacturer to be able to maybe find black or white or some other color that our clients are needing. So kind of just clarifying that as far as, you know, a lot of people are thinking that the moment they touch another balloon, their CBA is going to be revoked or something. That, no, that I can tell you right now, that's not going to happen. I mean, I, true, ideally, we'd love to see, you know, Qualitex as a primary user. Um, but again, you know, as you had mentioned, you know, we do recognize, especially, you know, with COVID, you know, that kind of threw a wrench in everything over the past uh, 18 months or so. But um, again, we would prefer 100% Qualitex or use as much Qualitex as possible. But again, we do recognize the reality of the situation of, uh, you know, where we are in like the balloon world as far as like stocks and shortages and all that. But I mean, like I said, if we if we catch you using another thing, it's like, oh, nope, revoke. We're, I mean, we're not going to get that strict into it. Like I said, you know, we do recognize it. But again, with that said, we would like to see um, as much Qualitex used uh, as possible. And, you know, one thing I do want to reiterate, too, is for this exam, it has to be 100% Qualitex work, uh, including foils as well. Yes. And so one of the things that happened when I took my exam in 2008 at Balloon Camp and Eve Antonello actually took her CBA the exact same day. Kind of cool uh, <laughs> to see how things. That is cool. Isn't that fun? <laughs> um, so but one of the things with that is there was somebody in our program that um, didn't pass because they didn't bring Qualitex foils with them. Because one of the mistakes that I have found in the industry over the years is many people think, Qualitex owns all the other manufacturers. And so they just figured that anything that was in their distributor's catalog was a Qualitex owned balloon, even though it had some other name on it. So a couple of ways to check to make sure that your balloon is actually Qualitex balloon is to look at the packaging and does it say Qualitex on it? And then if you're not sure if it is a Qualitex balloon or not, look and see if it's on their website. Go to Qualitex.com, look up that balloon. And if that design is not on the Qualitex website, unless it's something that's outdated, it's not Qualitex. Right. Um, so you definitely want to check that. And if you have any questions, let RJ know, or you can also always send me um, an email, joette at ballooncoach.com and like send me the label of it and go like, hey, Joette, is this a Qualitex? One question I do have, RJ, is I know like with North Star now that you guys purchased that company, um, are North Star balloons allowed to be used during the Qualitex? I didn't know how those are labeled now. I don't know if they all say Qualitex or not. Um, let me actually, that's something I do need to follow up on now that we're gearing up for CBA exams again. I know initially when we had acquired them, it was kind of like, let's just stick to Qualitex. But uh, tell you what, let me for sure Stop do a follow up on that because I can't say for sure yes right. or no. Um, that will safe. definitely need to follow up. Yeah, so be safe and use Qualitex. And if for some yes. reason you only happen to have a North Star balloon, then you would just need to message RJ on that to make sure 
Um, but when you're submitting your designs to RJ that are your columns and your arches and um, other things that you are submitting to be able to take your practical exam, make sure that the foils that you're using or the three foot toppers and all the balloons in those designs are actually Qualitex balloons to submit those photos um, and that you're going off the job cost form for Qualitex balloons. Um, so a couple other questions that we have in our live chat today is that one of our folks um, during a move lost one of their study CDs. Is there a way for them to contact you with their purchase number or their account to see if there's a way to replace something and get um, access to the training? Yeah, absolutely. Just send me an email and uh, I'll probably just verify that you're in the system. And we actually um, have these videos in a private YouTube link now. So I'll just go ahead and send you that and you'll be squared away. Good to go. Cool. Another question I've been asked is, um, do people who speak another language as their first language have access to any materials that can help them in Spanish or another um, language? Yeah. Um, when you go through the test, we do have other languages, um, I mean, including um, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, French, German, Greek, uh, Japanese, um, Russian, Italian. I think those are the ones that we have in there. So we try to cover all the bases as far as like getting you started and getting you with the um, uh, education material to set you up for success. Excellent. So we have a couple of more questions that have come in. One is that one of the people coming to Balloon Boss Summit had a customized balloon made from Pioneer. Can I use that in my design? It's my favorite of all the balloons that are quality. Right. Um, again, like custom balloon, like it, custom foils, again, the gray area, because it's like, yes, we made it, but is it in the catalog? And would the administrator recognize it as one of our balloons? Now, if it was like a three foot balloon that was ours that had a print on it, like it was a custom logo printed on a three foot. I mean, that would probably be fine because it is our balloon, but like custom foil, again, you're kind of floating with that gray area because um, we just want you to um, be set up for success and then for sure to use something that's recognizable in a Qualitex catalog. Right. The other question is, um, what about some of the second and third tier balloons that are made by Pioneer that are not Qualitex balloons? So like right now, a lot of the retail settings and party stores are carrying um, the other designs in latexes and for, that are made by Pioneer, but they're not made by Qualitex. So um, can you define that gray area? Um, again, gray area is another good thing for, I mean, again, we would prefer Qualitex at the, um, as the first option. However, like I said, I do reckon, you know, we do recognize what's happening um, with uh, the shortage and everything. And I mean, if that happens to be all you got, I mean, you could send me a message, we'll take a look at it, but if possible, try to use uh, Qualitex where you can. All right, so guys, I'm going through the questions for those of you who are live. If you have not asked a question yet that you wanna make sure we get to before RJ says goodbye, please go ahead and type that in there for us. And I'm going back through it to make sure that I've got everything. Um, a question is, RJ, what can people expect on the day of the exam? Can you kind of walk them through how that testing process goes? Absolutely. So um, while I talk, I'll go ahead and post a link. Um, it's kind of like a study guide to what, you know, kind of what to prepare for. But uh, what I would recommend is showing up for the exam about half an hour before, which I know that sounds early, but um, it'll give you a chance to get like checked in, get yourself situated because the exam is only four hours and you will have a series of tasks to complete. And I know um, it's like, okay, four hours, that's a lot of time. I can tell you from personal experience, no, it's not. Uh, that four hours will fly. Like you'll blink and it's like, oh, it's only an hour when it's been four. Um, but it's not like you're stuck in a room. Like if you have to leave to kind of get a drink of water, go to the bathroom, you know, to kind of take a deep breath and regroup, you know, you're not, you're not trapped in that room for four hours. But again, this blog that I have sent here is probably the best guide that I give people of like, this is what to expect. This is what to prepare for. This is what you need to bring. So I would highly recommend giving this a read. Um, and it will probably best prepare you for what's to come when you take your exam. 
And a couple of things uh, for testing at Balloon Boss Summit is for the one that's coming up November 7th um, of 2021. The door, the um, testing starts at nine and I actually have things set up so that our, um, op our registration will open at 7 a.m. So that you've got plenty of time that if you wanna go in, grab your stuff um, and then you know have a break. Um, so I wanted to make sure you guys know that registration will open that morning um, at 7 a.m. for you to get all your stuff um, prior to going in for your exam. The other thing um, to expect is that um, in any venue, <laughs> even not in Orlando, oftentimes the air conditioning can be cranked. So you might be cold. If you're a person that gets cold easily, I encourage you to bring like a sweater or a jacket. Um, or if you're a person that gets hot easily when you're up moving around and you're stressed out, then, you know, wear something that's lightweight. <laughs> um, and then within the way that we do it in Orlando is it's set up where you each have your own individual table um, with social distancing currently to be able to work from, um, to kind of spread things out and put your supplies that you've brought yourself. And then throughout the room, we'll have the helium tanks and the areas for you to go work in to um, create the helium designs. Um, so just to kind of give you guys a lay of the land for that. Um, and then throughout the exam, um, one of the things that um, I was very fortunate about is when I took my test, it was Linda Bruce, and she had this huge smile, and she really put us at ease, and I see the same type of thing with Eve. It's, they're not there to have you fail. They want you to succeed, so they smile, and they laugh. They're going to be serious with you, and they're going to ask you direct questions, but like during the interview point, they're not there to try to make you fail. They want you to succeed. So um, sometimes people are really nervous that they're afraid, like, oh, what if I mess up? And a uh, quick little story is during mine, they asked me, like, you're doing a delivery. Somebody calls you for something. How do you describe it? And I went to describe something that was a balloon from another manufacturer. <laughs> like at the time, Qualitex didn't have any numbers. And so I went to say this other thing and I went, oops, <laughs> take two. You know, I just took a deep breath. They're like, oh, it's fine. We understand that's how you run your business, right? But I just started over. And then I suggested the things that I would do from Qualitex. So I still passed the exam and because I caught myself and I stopped what I was saying. So just to let you know that people are there to put you at ease and for you to succeed, not to, to try to mess you up. The other thing is, is I do have an online support group um, and it's called the study group for CBA with Loom Coach. And it has some um, past um, recordings of videos from other, other instructors from Summit who had shared their CBA testing experiences for you to learn from. And there's also some note cards in there. And then there's also links to this wonderful blog from Sue Bowler. So I encourage you guys to just take time to review the past um, training that you did online, to look through your book on color, harmony, and balance, to practice your knots, to practice your designs, and keep your design simple. Those balloons that you're creating to show what you can do. It's not a competition piece. <laughs> it's not a winning an award. It's just to show that you understand the basic concepts of color, harmony, balance, and put that all together for them. So um, let's see. Um, so one of the questions is, is what is the past fail ratio? Um, have there been many people that go into a, an exam and, and actually um, fail? If there's something... Um, it does. Yeah. And unfortunately it does happen. Um, I mean, the biggest way to prevent failures, like again, this, this blog, uh, that I posted and Joette just talked about, uh, reading that over and just reviewing the material. I mean, the more prepared you are, I mean, especially if you've been doing balloons for like a few years, uh, I mean, a lot of this will be second nature to you. And, you know, one thing as a follow-up to the designs, uh, one thing I like to tell people, simple but impactful. Going back to those, you know, color theories, you know, good, clean work. Um, again, if you've been doing balloons for years on years, I mean, a lot of this is going to be like review and, you know, you'll be able to do this almost like second nature. Um, so as long, I mean, as long as you do that, I mean, you're, you're going to be set up for success. Again, Evie's great. Um, you know, very human to work with and, uh, yeah, I just practice review the material and you're going to be just fine. There's, there's nothing really to be nervous about, about this. Cool. Another question that was asked, what is a benefit of being a CBA? 
Um, first of all, the branding of it. Um, you get the the CBA for your title, and then other benefits include like you know as a QBN member, you're listed on our website, and then as a CBA, you have a higher priority, and then that also comes with you know several different you know. Uh, marketing materials available to you. But the big thing, you know, especially in this day and age is like the education that you learn with the program and especially the branding, being able to set yourself apart from like your other competitors in your area. So what I've done is on the screen, you'll see that I typed in to the find a pro at qualitex.com. Orlando, Florida within 100 miles. And hey, there's Party People Events. That is the um, business that I owned for years and then sold. Um, so I have actually had people um, purchase from us because of our listing on the Qualitex site. Um, they were actually people, one, they had bought their own neon balloons online with Qualitex on it. And so then they went to the website and found me to be able to make the balloons because it was in the middle of Central Florida where there were no balloon professionals. And they're like, are you willing to travel? It was like a two hour drive. Um, and then another time it was a company out of Colorado that was coming to Orlando for a convention. And so they looked up on the Qualitex website to find somebody in the Orlando area to do the balloons for their event. So um, those are two specific times that that helped me out. And then the other thing I talk about with the CBA is again, you don't have to be a CBA to be successful. I know many people in the industry that are not, but what I have found in this day and age of people, especially if you've been in the industry for just the last five years or less, most of your training online through YouTube University has been on organic designs, where it's just putting a mash of different sizes together and sometimes the coloring isn't great. And so by being able to understand the principles of design, color, balance, harmony, it makes such a huge difference just in like looking at which way do your spirals turn. There's a whole science to that and it's told to you in this program. And then that whole renaissance of going back to doing deliveries during social distancing, what did people do? Deliveries to people's home. And so being able to go through that process and how that works again is really a thing that can help you out. And that's all in the CBA program. So um, those are the main things that I found is that by being able to go through that standardized program, I can go to a networking event and I can say, hi, I'm Showette, I'm a CBA. And people go, a CBA, what's that? Oh, I'm a certified balloon artist. It's a talking point. They've never heard of it, but now I'm telling them that there's a program that you can be a certified balloon artist. And they're like, wow, we didn't even know it was an industry. And so to be able to say, yes, we actually go through online training and in-person testing to make sure that we understand the basic fundamentals of how to create beautiful balloon decor. And then I can able to tell them that I go to conventions and that I have friends around the world. And it just opens up this kind of cool conversation. Again, the general lay person is not going to ask you, are you a CBA? But when you use it in the right context in your social media and in your networking, it can help bring you some credibility and that you can then educate people that our industry is an industry. And then now what I do for you is worth more money because I'm actually a trained professional and not somebody who just did everything off of YouTube University. It gives you a little bit more credibility and the eyes of other people. So um, again, guys, if you have more questions about doing your CBA, go to the qualitex.com website and push the buttons there. Or for those of you who are on live, RJ, if you can just do it one more time and give us your email address and your phone number inside the chat. So those who are on live with us today can be able to find you. And then the last thing that I want to do, guys, is just remind you, the ballooncoach.com was created in 2015 to help you take the next step in growing your thriving balloon business. I started in the industry full time in 2003, having no idea about how this industry worked. And over the years, the number one thing that the person I bought my business from was that they told me to invest in my education. She was a CBA. So I became a CBA. She would go to live events. So I went to live events. And by going to those trainings, I've met the most incredible people in the world because the balloon industry is full of amazing folks. And by getting yourself into these hands-on training, by overcoming your fear of test anxiety and just going for it. Worst case scenario, you come to Summit, you take your CBA and you don't pass. 
Well, you come back the next year or you go to one of the other testing sites and you will be able to pass it the next time. Don't let fear stop at you from using the curriculum that you've already purchased. And you can hang out and study with other people coming to the event the night before online chats and kind of help quiz each other and prepare for the exam. So um, I encourage you guys, if you're one of those people that have test anxiety, just take it a little step at a time, practice, use some note cards, review it over time. And the main thing is, is if you're using these balloon skills to make arches and columns and delivery pieces, as your daily job, you're going to be able to recreate that when you're in Orlando in the conference room. Nobody is there for you to fail. They're there to support you and help you do well. And you're going to be in a room with other people who are just as nervous as you are. So you just take a deep breath and show the skills that you've already been able to show through your photos and through your online exams. So guys, any last questions from those who are on live with us for RJ to ask today while we are recording and, and set up? And if there's no last minute questions, then I will stop things. So guys, just one more shout out. If you have a question that you wanted to make sure RJ addresses today, I think I have got them all done and that you just need to follow up if you're planning to take your exam at Balloon Boss Summit or other upcoming events if you're watching this in another area is you need to just go to the qualitex.com website look up the event and then email rj c-a-r-l-i-n-o at pioneerballoon.com and um, he will help you um, get signed up for the right cva and um what do the written questions cover? So during the actual exam, we don't have to write anything, right? It's just a verbal? Yeah, it's um, basically, uh, we pull you aside for about 15 to 20 minutes for more of a panel session. And uh, what we do is we ask you some questions based on the material. And then uh, as Joette had mentioned, uh, you will either be asked to do a phone call or a delivery. And you're not going to know which one until the administrator uh, says, okay, uh, we're going to do a delivery role play or a uh, uh, phone call role play. So make sure you are prepared uh, for both. Yeah. And so it's basically ring, ring, the phone rings, and it's I'm having a birthday party for my daughter you know, what can you make for me kind of thing. Or it's that you're actually taking your delivery to the location and what would be the things that you would say to the people at the office setting where you're making the delivery to, how would you present it to the person? And both of those scenarios are in all of the materials in your CBA kit. So that's a great question. So guys, with that, what I wanna do is thank you for everybody who's on my live webinar today with your questions. I'm so glad that you're here. And as a bonus that I do with my mastermind programs and anytime I do a live um, webinar is I'm gonna shut down the recording in just one second. And you can then ask other questions off the record that are about anything balloons. Um, but if you guys are wanting help in taking the next step and growing your business, I encourage you to go to qualitex.com and look at the CBA program to see if it's a good fit for you and then message RJ. And then if you're looking for online support or want live help to actually um, take the next step in your business, go to ballooncoach.com and check out the wonderful things that we offer for you. And you can just simply click on summit to be able to come to Orlando in November to be able to take your CBA exam. Do one thing today, your future self will thank you for. Just take a deep breath and know that the knowledge that you have will be fine at the exam and that RJ and the team at Qualitex and the folks of us at Balloon Coach are here to help support you in taking that step. You've got this. Absolutely. Yeah, we've, we definitely got you. We want, uh, we want to set you up for success for sure. Thanks, RJ. Appreciate